praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank God for another opportunity to bring God's word to you. If you're new on this platform, I welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Samuel E. Molombe. I am the man God uses. Welcome in Jesus' precious name. To our family, to our friends, thank you for always tuning in. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Now, this is a specific prophetic word. It's for one person. I give you details and specifics in this prophetic word and I want you to watch it to the end. You cannot fast forward this word because you may miss out on something that is very, very important. God is describing someone in this prophetic word. The Lord is describing someone. The Lord is saying that um, this friend is toxic. This friend is, is toxic. And, and this particular friend smokes. All right? Now, this particular friend that the Lord is talking about, I see the person smoking. Again, this is a specific prophetic word, and I want you to watch till the end to know if God is actually talking to you. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. So, there is, there is a scripture I want to read for you before I even dive into what the Lord showed me. I, I read this scripture before here on this platform and i really love it it's proverbs chapter 27 and verse 17 it's actually highlighted in all my 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 bibles all of it proverbs chapter 27 and verse 17 the bible says as iron sharpens iron so one person sharpens another as iron sharpens iron so one person sharpens another so the Lord is telling me that there's a toxic friend around you. There's a toxic friend around you. I don't know if this is what you have dealt with already or this prophetic word is coming to, you know, get you to deal with this almost immediately. Let me tell you how God created the world. He created the world for us to be interdependent. To be interdependent. We are not supposed to be independent. We are supposed to be interdependent. What does that mean? It means that you, you, you know, um, and it, it, it's a little, co it's contrasting to the reality that is portrayed in the, the first world countries, the A1 countries like the Americas, North America and, South, you know, and, and, and all of Europe. They're trying to make um, you to be as independent as possible. You don't know who your neighbor is and sometimes your neighbor is practicing witchcraft. You're just all by yourself. You're disconnected from all family and everything. Well, the reason why that is happening like that because a lot of people are practicing witchcraft. A lot of people are, you know, have messed themselves up with all kinds of energies and that's why the best thing to do is to withdraw from them. But it is not the original plan of God. The original plan of God is clearly stated in genesis please don't forget the proverbs chapter 27 verse 17 but let me read you um genesis it's a very good scripture and it's a very popular scripture in genesis chapter i think chapter 2 verse 18 the bible says the lord god said it is not the lord god said it is not good for the man to be alone i will make a helper suitable for him it's not good for the man to be alone it's not good for man to be alone i will make him a helper suitable for him god sends people into your life and these people are like containers they have a content and they pour into you so back to our very specific prophetic word there is somebody in your life and god is identifying this person by the fact that the person smokes and this person now it's not about the smoking but this person has a very toxic energy this person always has a pessimistic approach to everything and has in and it has a narcissistic tendencies whenever you are around this person you feel tension you feel very a negative energy and the person smokes again that was the point of identification to their specifics you know that this is a specific person maybe you were involved romantically with this person and you notice that this person is so pessimistic there's a negative energy 
but it might not be even a negative energy birthed from character like it has anger management problems or drinking problems or smoking problems or is it you know consumes you know drugs and all that but this it might be from a ancestral foundational problem or witchcraft or that the person has opens themselves up to a medium okay so yeah you know the enemy feeds on the energy of humans i hope you know that satan feeds on the energy of humans he wants to steal your energy wants to manipulate you based off on your hijacked energy so if satan takes away the positive energy from a man and fills that man with negative energy what they say what they do how they act how they treat you all of it is going to birth a negative energy have you enter, ever entered into a place and you felt such negativity in the atmosphere? You'd be like, what's going on here? Why is it that this place is so negative? Why is it that I cannot do, you know? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. In scripture, I've read a lot of scriptures here today, right? On this prophetic word. Just give me a minute, let me get that scripture for you. Now, there's a scripture. Um, I think it's, it's recorded in Matthew chapter 13, verse 58. Yeah, yeah. It says, and he did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. He did not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. Their unbelief became um, a cloud of negative energy that suffocated the miraculous, the miracle working power of God in the life of Jesus. Can you imagine that? Their unbelief became a wall, a mega wall, big wall. And even Jesus could not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. And you cannot think straight because of their negative energy you cannot be your best because of how pessimistic they are you cannot decide you cannot be all that god has purpose for you to be because of how negative they are the lord is saying cut off cut off right now don't ask how things are going to be after this or the lord is saying if you did cut off already you did the right thing because you are thinking did i do the right thing did i make a mistake no you did not energy is everything and when you let these kinds of negative energy stay around you, you are messing up all the plans that God has for you. Scripture says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Now, the foundation of every home is the, you know, the energy that, that, that comes out from the board of you, right? The foundation of every home is, it's, 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 it's more... Of the, I don't, don't know how to call it. The, the energies, right? I hope you understand that. That is from where it starts. You look at somebody and you feel something for them. That's an energy. If that foundation is destroyed and it has a negative energy, what are you going to do? How do you even build a good marriage? How do you even build a good partnership? How do you even build a good relationship with such a person? The Lord is saying that at that point, all you can do is cut off. Cut them off today. Cut them off even right now. God is going to give you grace in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you and the Lord give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Do you receive the word with gladness? I love you and shalom. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe on this prophetic channel. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to ring your notification bell when you like so that be part of whatever God is doing here. I love you so much and shalom.